Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the very special episode because today we will build the first habitat for the first animal from the Euro pack, the new Planet Zoo DLC which was recently released. And by the thumbnail of this video you probably know that I'm talking about the European Badger. First of all, I would like to thank Frontier for providing me with the codes to the new DLC. Thank you guys, you are as always amazing and this means a world to me. And also huge huge thanks to Frontier for sending me a gift. Uh, it was my first ever gift that I received from the game developer, so for me it was huge. And uh, of course this gift is uh, connected to the release of the European pack and I received a warm beanie and a scarf for uh, like they're perfect for Polish winters so yeah a perfect perfect gift for me. Uh, if you want to see them I uh, posted them on my Instagram account and also uh, on my Twitter and here on YouTube in my community tab. This is such a lovely present and thank you again from here. This is amazing. But coming back to today's video, today we are building a habitat for a badger as I told you guys. And also we'll talk about a new DLC a bit, uh, if I like it or not. Spoiler alert, I love it. <laughs> but I will tell you guys uh, about it later in the video. Because firstly let's talk a bit about the new habitat that we are building here today in the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, this badger habitat will be located opposite to the dingo and wolf habitats in this area of the zoo that is becoming sort of like a temperate taiga biome uh, like area uh, with animals like moose, the arctic fox, uh, the beaver, the uh, prairie dogs, the wolves, the dolls and so on and uh, this is where we'll be continuing uh, the work because I would like to add some other animals from this new DLC to this area and I think that it will make sense to have it have them here uh, so in the future episodes you may expect me to build in this area as well. This particular habitat, I mean our badger habitat, is a bit inspired by a wolverine habitat in the Moscow Zoo. To be honest uh, there are not many like pretty uh, badger habitats or enclosures in zoos. Uh, I just couldn't find any, maybe there are some, but there were no photographs here in the internet. So uh, I started to dig, uh, you know, a bit uh, deeper and I found uh, this like lovely habitat of the wolverine on Pinterest and I thought it looks really, really cool. Uh, and I also wanted to showcase a lot of new pieces here so uh, firstly I've built this barrier which was like completely uh, inspired by this habitat so I was able to use those small metal pieces, those light caps, also this new texture of the wall uh, in here. Of course I will also use the new path and so on. Uh, the original habitat, it seemed to me a bit too small for our badgers. They need surprisingly a lot of space uh, given their size uh, in the game. Uh, so uh, I decided to make it a bit different. I gave them a lot more space. Uh, there is this like rock wall, uh, rock wall uh, at the back, like making a barrier and so a background of this habitat. Uh, I also went for that, but did it completely different with different type of rocks so it fits more to our zoo uh, but the barrier is very very similar. I will actually put uh, I think the link to the photo uh, that inspired me to build this in the description to this video so you guys can go and check it out yourself to see what I was inspired by. And also a little disclaimer, you might have seen that on the thumbnail the habitat looks a bit different uh, than the final product here uh, on uh, in the video. It is because uh, I have this issue in the game and I'm sure that the, many of you have this issue that no matter how you set the time in the game the light uh, is always 
like the sun is always shining from the from one direction so uh, it's easy to build habitats that are like facing front to the zoo entrance but when if you flip it around and you add some you know rocks and trees and so on the whole habitat is in the shadow so that's the issue with this habitat i knew that this is a perfect spot for it given like a size and the localization i mean the animals that are uh, around it but unfortunately it had to be uh you know uh, turned around just so the lightning the light was terrible in this habitat i wasn't really like I was really upset about it to be honest because I wanted to have something very beautiful for the badger and it looks fine I really like this habitat but it doesn't look very well in you know in the shadows uh, it looks really nice in the sun so I basically did a blueprint of this entire habitat while once I finished it uh, and I moved it uh, like I turned it around moved it to the you know empty part of the zoo and I took some screenshots uh, just to make a thumbnail uh, so that's why it may look a bit different there but I hope you guys won't be angry at me uh, I just wanted it to look good on a thumbnail to have a every nice photo of it uh, because you know uh, you'll be able to see it in the cinematic shots that probably it doesn't look as good as on the photo uh, that we have on the thumbnail so as you can see I am now building this huge rock formation that will surround the whole habitat and will be also our barrier uh, to prevent the animals from escaping. Uh, I wanted to have a really natural barrier so it's just rocks, some plants and I think that in the end it looks really really good. Uh, for sure uh, a lot of zoos use this, uh, I mean this rock barrier, this is made from concrete, like there are special companies that do it uh, from concrete plaster and so on they specialize in doing those fake rocks so this is we have to think uh, about it as fake uh, of course uh, but in the end I really like how it has turned out when it comes to the badger I love the model <laughs> it is simply beautiful I think Frontier nailed it this is how the badger looks its face it's so like nice looking the body the fur texture everything is just perfect so so yeah this was really really good job on this model and I just love it I love how they behave how they are walking their animations everything is just perfect so I think that the badger is one of my favorites when it comes to this pack uh, just because of the way it looks I of course re also really like the fallow deer but we'll talk more about it in the fallow deer episode so as you may know I am from Poland so the European DLC is something very very exciting for me because I basically know this style of architecture very well, uh, some of it is in Poland, I mean the style of architecture that we got in the new uh, DLC of course, some of the, it is actually in Poland but I also like, like to travel a lot uh, around Europe so I've been to Amsterdam, I've been to Paris, I've been to uh, Switzerland, Germany and so on so I saw a lot of those buildings and I this is so close you know from home this is feels so familiar that I really love those uh, you know building pieces and I'm also very familiar with the badger because it lives in my country maybe it's not too easy to spot it in the wild because they are nocturnal animals which means uh, when you are going for a walk uh, in the forest you probably won't uh, like spot it or find it anywhere because they will be sleeping uh, but sometimes you know when you drive a car uh, during the night you might see some unfortunately a lot of them get killed by a car so the most badgers that I saw were the dead ones by the road this is so cruel but unfortunately it is true because you know they are uh, in the night they are very active and sometimes they go to the roads and yeah that ends very bad for them but 
I also saw some alive, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, I saw them in like uh, we had those school trips, you know, when I was a child in the primary school uh, to like national reserves when they were holding some animals which were, for example, injured or reintroduced back to the wild and so on. And there I saw a family of badgers, and they were so cute and lovely and I think that you know this from this model is actually something very very similar to what I saw there. So right now I'm adding a lot of details to our habitat. I will also add you know rocks and of course the new logs and branches that we got with this update and this is one of my favorite additions to this game. I mean those small climbable uh, you know logs and branches. They look so good, so realistic and of for sure you'll see me using them in all of my habitats because I just simply love, you know, adding some logs and branches that lay around uh, the habitat. I think it looks very, very realistic to have those. So yeah, they're amazing. Their texture is so, so nice. I especially love this like birch one, the white one. It's really, really, really beautiful. So this is one of the my favorite additions for sure. I still haven't used it to use them with uh, you know any climbing animals but yeah definitely I will when we'll build a habitat for a climbing animal they will be used as much as I will pro potentially be able to uh, also there are those new climbing bridges which I really like because I always used to uh, you know uh, create them myself so now it will be much easier and also some climbing platforms which look really really beautiful so yeah overall when it comes to the update and the new DLC I simply love them <laughs> yeah I really really enjoy them it's is somehow becoming I think my favorite DLC uh, that was released up to this point it is really hard to choose because uh, I of course love the aquatic DLC because it gave us you know aquatic animals with deep diving and this was just amazing addition to the game uh, but this update I think it has the best building pieces out of them all uh, and I love building in this game basically so this is just something for me a lot of those pieces are very very like uh, versatile so you can use them in all of your zoos in all of the styles uh, just you know some props uh, there are a lot of metal pieces there are a lot of things that you know just fit anywhere and allow you to be so creative there are those decals that you can use on the walls in basically all of the biomes to make the buildings look a bit more you know older and used so yeah this is just just amazing when it comes to the building and when it comes to the animals of course we only have like four five um, because uh, i'm not counting the salamander as an animal it's just an exhibit animal of course i love the exhibit animals i really enjoy this addition but uh, you don't really build for them and do habitats uh, the fire salamander is such an amazing choice uh, it also lives in Poland so I know this species very well uh, but yeah when it comes to the animals that you know uh, you can actually build for so the badger as I told you guys amazing really love it the follow deer I think it's one of the best looking animal in the entire game so this is just amazing and we were missing a deer in this game so much uh, then we have the links that everyone wanted to have in the game and I think that they may nail this model I'm personally not a huge fan of big cats I don't know why but uh, of course we'll add them here but uh, I wasn't as excited for the lynx as I was for the for example the badger uh, but yeah anyway it is so 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 stunning and then we have the ibex which I also think that uh, this is just like the least like exciting for me I don't know why uh, it would be a pity if they didn't like add it any time to the game. So when we finally have it, I'm happy that we have it, but I would be like over the moon if we got like a wild boar 
or a red deer or something like that instead of an ibex or maybe also like a weasel or animals like this and for example a stork which basically behaves a lot like flamingo so we totally could have it but yeah overall i am really really happy with this update and the new dlc i think that they are both amazing the frontier did such an amazing job with them we have so many like useful pieces right now all of those small metal pieces are so so useful and versatile you can create you know fences out of them you can create i don't know some uh decorations you can add them to your buildings also i love the addition of restaurants i still haven't have the chance to use them but i will for sure because i think that it is just brilliant also i love the boroughs you will be able to see me showcase them uh, in the cinematics of this video because i will show you guys how the uh, badger enters the hole or the borrow and then how it behaves inside and also i will show you how uh, you can you know adjust it or add it the camera to the screen so that the guests can see the badger when it is in the borrow so this is really really cool addition what i also love is the new path texture it is now my favorite path it is also very very typical for European cities. You can see this path basically everywhere, even in Poland, like those small stones uh, that form those like circles or half moon shapes. Yeah, this is very very uh, typical and I really love this path and it also has a really nice curb. Uh, I basically don't like the curbs too much in the paths, but this one is really, really nice and realistic and yeah, basically very, very good path, my favorite right now. This pack is simply like uh, perfect if you are building a city zoo because I think it, is, it has such a city zoo vibe with uh, all of those you know metal pieces, those ornaments, uh, there's also a new wall texture which I love, uh, those planters and you know just uh, the things that you can see you can see on the trailer of the new DLC this, this just screams you know uh, the um, city zoo so yeah perfect for our series our Elm Hill city zoo and uh, as I saw those things for the first time, I was actually like, oh my god, I want to start this zoo over again and start using those pieces from the very beginning because they are just perfect, but but obviously I won't do that, our Elm Hill City Zoo is here to stay, don't worry guys, uh, but I will be using those pieces from the Euro Pack a lot, I'm sure of it. Uh, so you may expect me, uh, you know, using them in my, uh, you know, future episodes. I am not too familiar to all of them still. I am still a bit learning, but we'll get there and I will be using them all of the time. I already know that. Okay, so you could see me adding also uh, plants to our new habitat. And I also love the new plants. I know that I say that I love everything, <laughs> but I really do. Uh, so the new plants are really amazing. I love the olive trees. I think that they look just fantastic. And also the new oak tree, oak something tree. I think it looks so, so good. And also this London something tree. <laughs> I don't, re don't remember the names of the plants. But those trees are just amazing, perfect again for city zoos and I'll be using them a lot for sure. And from the smaller plants, I love this periwinkle leaves, I think it is called. They look just amazing uh, and you know, I already know that I will be using them in all of my future habitats because this is just like a perfect addition uh, to add this a bit uh, of greenery from time to time, like a grass or a plant that just grows, you know, in between the rocks or somewhere and yeah, this looks really, really cool and I love that they are in two different color variations. Uh, so you can really match them, like mix them and it looks really really cool and not too repetitive. So as you can see we are right now working on the shelter uh, for our badgers. Uh, this will be just a small building as I decided to only add two badgers to this habitat. 
So inside there will be two different night quarters or two different stalls for them. Uh, with the backstage area of course, so I uh, will build a lot of you know barriers uh, using the new pieces. So I really wanted to test them and I am just in love. <laughs> so we will be using them as I told you guys a lot. Uh, like especially while building backstage areas because I think that they are just perfect for them. So uh, while building this building I didn't want to create anything new because I wanted to be you know cohesive to this part of the uh, zoo so I built something similar that we've built for the red foxes and also for the wolves last time uh, so that it looks just all you know nice fitting and so on uh, so this building will be have like a wooden facade from outside and will have plaster roof and walls inside and of course there will be some night quarters uh, with made with mesh pieces and some metal rods and the new ones uh, and also we'll put some things for our stuff inside so while i am building this backstage area let me give you guys some fun and interesting facts about our badgers so the badgers are fantastic diggers they live in family groups of around six individuals in underground homes known as sets the sets are passed from the generation to generation the number of exits in one of the sets can vary from few to 50 uh, the bigger sets can actually accommodate more than one family of badgers. When it happens, each family occupies its own passages and nesting chambers. Badgers dig and collect bedding throughout the year, particularly in autumn and spring. The chambers are frequently lined with bedding brought uh, in the dry nights, which consists of grass, bracken, strew, leaves and moss. Uh, the badgers are very clean animals, which uh, means that they regularly clear out and uh, discard all bedding. Uh, during winter, they may take their bedding outside on sunny mornings to dry it in the sun. In the summer, they uh, clean the burrows uh, like completely several times uh, to prevent parasite levels building up. If the badger dies within the set, the rest of the badger will seal off the chamber and dig the new one so that they bury their uh, you know dead member of the family they also don't defecate in the burrows they have their own spot outside so as you can see this is so surprising that they are so clean and tidy and they clean their burrows all of the time I wish I was so caring about my own apartment. <laughs> I am no, definitely not a badger when it comes to this stuff. Badgers sometimes share their burrows with red foxes and European rabbits, which is really interesting. Uh, the badgers may provide protection for the rabbits against other predators. So they are also lovely because they love to share. <laughs> what a, a lovely animal. They are also one of those animals, uh, our European animals, that uh, fall into the winter sleep. Uh, so they start to prepare for winter sleep during late summer. They accumulate the fat reserves. They tr start to collect the bedding to their burrow and stop uh, you know, leaving their nests or their burrows when the first snow uh, is occurring. Uh, the badgers are omnivores, they eat earthworms, insects uh, and small mammals but also fruits and cereals. The badger mostly inhibits the woodlands uh, but it can adapt to the life in suburban areas and urban parks although not to the extent of the red foxes. Yeah, the red fox is such a common sight here in Europe and in Poland. I basically see a red fox every like few days because there is one or two that are living next to my house. So where I'm going for a walk with my dog, I sometimes meet them. <laughs> they are not too afraid of humans, so sometimes you can see them from really up close. But yeah, the red fox is very like common sightning here where I live also the wild boars are also uh, very very common in here 
I know that there are also badgers living in here, but as I told you guys, they are nocturnal, so it is very, very hard to spot them. Okay, and that's all when it comes to the fun facts. I also uh, like forgot to tell you guys about one piece, uh, like building piece, that I am particularly super excited about, and those are the hinges, uh, or, or hinge. Uh, this is this thing, I think that is called like this, that is used to open and close, for example, the doors, this metal piece. And I always try to figure out how I can do it myself. Uh, I was looking for different pieces, but now we finally have it. So adding doors uh, will be uh, so much easier right now. For example, the doors or gates to uh, the habitats or to the, you know, stalls, backstage areas. I always use those small, I don't know, metal pieces. But now we have like a dedicated piece and this is just amazing. Also, I forgot to answer one question which I wanted to uh, answer because I got a lot of them, <laughs> both in private messages and so on. You guys wanted to know if I got an early access to the new DLC and probably uh, the answer is here in the date when I am uploading this video. Uh, so no, I didn't have any early access, I was just given a key uh, to the new DLC, uh, but I was able to start playing on the same day as you guys, so uh, no early access for me. Uh, that's why I am uploading this video uh, today on Friday because I normally need two you know, uh, evenings to build a habitat and then the third evening to edit. Uh, so that's why it took me so long to upload any video from the new Euro pack. But I am here finally and will have many more episodes from this pack, I am sure. So, this is all that I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Uh, click the subscribe button down below if you want to. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos and also if you want to help my channel to grow. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and comment down below if you enjoyed this video and what are your thoughts about the new DLC. I would love to hear them. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Oh, 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 oh,